Over the years, I've met many expats who have dated Filipinas and learned some very valuable lessons. In today's video, I will share these stories so we can learn from their mistakes and not fall into the same trap. The first lesson I learned was from a very wise entrepreneur from Australia. So back in my early 20s, I was living in Cebu City and was using Tinder. I got a match from this beautiful Filipina who ended up being a bikini model. She told me that she was entering a competition at a pool party with other Filipinas and asked me if I would come and join them. Being in my early 20s at the time, she didn't have to ask me twice. So I arrived there expecting a lot of guys and girls partying, but it was completely dead. I waited an hour and she never showed up and later deleted me on Tinder. <laughs> Now this is a lesson in itself, but what happened next is that I got talking to a guy from Australia who had many businesses and actually lived in the Philippines for over 15 years. He told me that his biggest regret was telling Filipinas that he had money. He mentioned that he paid for several family operations, emergency repairs, holidays, schooling and so much more, all for his Filipina girlfriend's family. He also told me to always downplay the amount of money that you have. He went on to say that not all families are like this, but there are many that are, and they don't care if you are a young man or an old man, if you have money, that is all they care about. About. Now the good thing about this channel is that we have a small community of expats and I do read all of your comments. One comment that came in the other day was advising expats to see the situation on a case by case basis. And it got me thinking about Bill. So Bill was a retiree who was from the US and now living in Davao City. He got to that age where he didn't want to have any more kids or a big family. He just wanted to retire happy and be with a Filipina who he cares about. Unfortunately he fell for a girl who was in her late 20s. She didn't have any kids which was perfectly fine with Bill but what Bill didn't know is that she wanted to have children and start a family and she was at a funny age where time started to run out but what happened is that she told him that she was on the pill and he believed all of this until she fell pregnant. She tried to tell him that she took all of the pills so it must be a miracle but he found out later a few weeks later that she stopped taking the pill Hills. Fast forward to today and he is in the later part of his retirement raising a child. This is something that I've come across a few times. You have to be really careful with your magical nuts because they are special. Crazy enough, I was once propositioned. <gasps> A friend of mine came to me and asked me if I could sell my, uh, you know, my seeds. It turns out that she was friends with a lesbian couple who wanted to raise a white and Filipino baby. Now this is random and out of the blue, but what I have been told is there is a growing trend with some Filipinos wanting to have a mixed race baby in the Philippines, so you have to be really careful in the bedroom. It's true and very sad, but some expats fall in love with bar girls and have a really difficult time. From what other expats have told me, they don't see you as love or a romantic partner, they see you as a way out. I really feel bad for these guys because, you know, I really get it. I mean, think about it like this. You see a beautiful Filipina who's working at a bar or a club. You get talking and she tells you that she only makes $200 a month and she hates her life here. She's single and she just wants a better life. Life, if only there was a nice foreign guy she could meet. Now, as a guy, I can relate. I can see the thinking. You can think, wow, she's a damsel in distress. I could really be the hero in this story and, and help her. The thing is, it never normally works out this way. I've spoken about going broke in the Philippines on this channel, and one of the main reasons is because men meet the wrong kinds of Filipinas and make some really silly choices. Most Filipinas are great people, but if you go to the bars or the clubs or anything similar, you will find that most people there are just trying to survive and that comes way before love or romance. Now maybe I'm wrong, maybe there is hundreds of happy ever after stories and if you have any stories of your own please let me know below.